All I could hear were random sounds. My wife shouting, then murmuring something. My little Lily crying. The lamp buzzing like it was saying something important. Whoa, this sounds like that... what is it? The Twilight Zone? What's going on here? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for another reaction video. Now, before we get into this one, I need to tell you, my whole life was a lie. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, and you're not really fine, and you just can't get into it because they... You guys gotta give a like, so smash that like button, make it turn blue, and if you are watching this video for the first time, and you haven't subscribed yet, do click that subscribe button, make it turn grey, because that will keep you a bit on all these cool and all these fun reaction videos that we do here on this channel. So do that, and let's get straight into this one. Alright, so... Magic earphones on! Yeah. <clears throat> and let's get straight into this video. Hello everyone. About a year ago, I had it all. A job, a wife, a kid. Yeah, that's confusing, but explain to us what the heck are you talking about? But what I found in a lamp changed my life forever. I've always been a little socially awkward. Hiding in my shell, hoping nobody would notice me. Feeling weird in a big crowd of people. Because when people did notice me, they weren't really nice, to put it lightly. Like this one time, when I was in college. This huge, I mean Dwayne The Rock Johnson huge football player, was playing around near the entrance when I crashed into him. It was an accident, obviously, but he didn't take it as such. The last thing I remember was his loud voice and this enormous fist flying my way. When I opened my eyes, I saw an angel. Well, not literally. I saw the most wonderful young lady, Daisy. I felt my heart skip a beat. She was standing in front of me, her silky voice asking me, Are you okay? Somehow, I knew that this woman would have a great impact on my life, and I couldn't believe that of all people, she decided to help me. But our love story didn't start there. I was, as people call it, friend zone for quite some time. I don't know, have you, have you guys been there? Have you been into the friend zone? <laughs> Let me know. I, I have. I've been there. So I can relate to you, dude. We became best friends. She'd call me after some jerk ex-boyfriend would cheat on her and treat her badly. I'd buy the biggest bucket of ice cream, and we'd spend the whole night talking. Dude, that is seriously the friend zone. What the heck, dude? You're digging yourself even, even further in a grave. Oh, crud. It was hard to see her hurting time after time, but I was glad to be near this magnificent creature. I didn't expect anything, honestly, and yet, this one morning, after one of our deep and interesting nightly conversations, she got out of my shower and sat on the table while I was making breakfast. I was minding my own business when I heard the most jaw-dropping question. Out of the blue, she asked me, Jared, how come you never made a move on me? I nearly dropped the pan with eggs on the floor. Because, I mean, I'm... I started mumbling like an idiot. That's when I heard something soft dropping on the floor. It was her towel. I don't think any living soul has ever cared so much about me. You know, I care about you too, her smooth as silk voice said. And the rest was history. Whoa, whoa, stop, stop, stop. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, 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 don't, don't you two go there. Okay. No. I'm warning you, dude. Don't go there. You've been friend-zoned. Don't go there. After we got married, every anniversary, I'd make this grand gesture to make up for my silly lack of courage when we were friends. I have no idea why it never occurred to me that she might be into me too. I was in my first residency as a great doctor-to-be when she bore me a daughter, my sweet Lily, who I loved more than I loved life itself. I was living the best life possible when it turned out to be a lie. One day, 
I believe it was Saturday. While I was sitting on the couch, I noticed that the perspective of the lamp was odd. Like, inverted. It was still in 3D, but something was... off. I couldn't understand what was wrong with it. I was transfixed. I remember Daisy telling me to go to bed, but I couldn't. I stayed up all night staring at it. Maybe I was paranoid. Maybe there was something wrong with me. But I was obsessed with that lamp. I stopped going to work. I stopped eating. My wife was freaking out. But I couldn't even hear her anymore. It was all blurry. All I could hear were random sounds. My wife shouting, then murmuring something. My little Lily crying. The lamp buzzing like it was saying something important. Whoa, this sounds like that... what is it? The Twilight Zone? What's going on here? I'm confused. Um, I don't know where the story is going. Okay, I'm just going to get back into this. I really don't know what the heck's going on here. I think a week or two had passed when I saw Daisy leaving with Lily. She packed a couple of bags and left, telling me that she was going to stay at her mom's. She was right. It wasn't safe with me. But it wasn't safe in the world either, because something wasn't right. I tried turning the lamp on and off again, but it stopped working. It started reshaping itself and spinning around the room. It hit me in the head, and I felt my whole vision blacking out. I heard hundreds of voices and screams. I became aware of the pain, a ton of pain. It was in my jaw, in my bones, in my head. For a minute, I was in darkness, feeling utter chaos around me. And then, I opened my eyes. You won't believe what I saw. Honestly, at first, I couldn't believe it either. I was laying on my back on the sidewalk near my college, surrounded by people that I didn't know. Most of them were freaking out. I was confused. Some cop took me to the nearest hospital. They did CT scans and ran a bunch of tests. And it turned out I was right. There was something wrong with that lamp. It didn't exist. None of it did. None of those five years, my happily ever after years, were real. It was all a dream after some douchebag punched me hard in the face and I crashed into the stairs. Whoa, hold up. Are you telling me that nothing, what happened to you there, didn't exist? And you didn't have a wife? You didn't have a kid? Dude, how hard did you hit, how hard did he hit you? Wow. Okay, this story has gone really... I don't know. I don't know. Really, I do not know what the heck is going on here. After that... I took some time off college and went through a year of depression. I was grieving my wife and children that I never really had. I'd go to a shop to buy groceries and search for familiar faces, but for the most part, I couldn't even remember what they looked like. And yet, this one little trip to the grocery store made me into a better man. I was already near the cashier, waiting in line, when this sweet young woman stood behind me. She was wearing a flowery summer dress and humming a classic song. I looked at her and thought, what would Daisy have said in this situation? She would probably laugh at my lack of courage. She would call me out. I turned around in my sweatpants, trying to turn on the charm that I wasn't even sure I had, and said, is that the Beatles? You sound great. She looked at me with hazel eyes and smiled. So... That's how my ex-wife, or my dream wife as I often call Daisy, encouraged me to go after an attractive girl that later on became my girlfriend. Daisy was the perfect wingman and was the reason that I'm now actually starting my residency and living with my girlfriend. Maybe this dream really was a lesson for me to stop feeling sorry for myself and to work up the courage to fight for what I want. I just really didn't expect to find a mentor in myself. Wow, okay. Um, I don't know what to say here. I really don't know what to say. Okay, wait, let's just figure this out. Okay, mathematically, let's just figure this out. You were at school, okay? You bumped into a jock. He knocked you out. You were lights out, dude. KO. And in that time that you were out, you created a 
a completely alternate reality where you became friend zoned with this other girl. You start dating, you start to have kids, and you come out and you're back to normal again. Yeah, okay. Guys, please help me. Let me know in the comments. Um, what is going on? Do you guys understand the story? Because I'm completely, I don't know. What the heck is going on here? Drop those comments down, please. If you like this video, give it a massive thumbs up. Because this was confusing. Smash that like button. Make it turn blue. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet. Click on the subscribe button. Make it turn grey. Ring the notification bell on. Because that will keep you updated. True animation stories and all the other fun reaction videos that we do here on this channel. I'm going to go and try figure out what the heck happened here. I'll see you guys next week. Same time, same place. For another true animation stories. Catch you later guys. I'll see you on the next one.